Sabaha everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about the Nest Hello and how it integrates itself to your Google Home system. And what I mean by that is it actually interfaces with your Google Home as well as Google Chromecast. So if you have those two devices connected already and set up within your network, well, there's a few tricks you could do with your Nest Hello that most other doorbells can't. This is TK and let's go ahead and check out what's cool about Nest Hello and Google Home. Now, using the Nest is very simple. You turn on the application, open it up, and the normal interface that you're used to seeing your Nest thermostat now shows you the Nest camera. Now, this isn't the big part of it that's really, really cool, but what I really want to show you guys the first thing is, is the integration with how it works with your existing system. So if I go into Live View right now, we are in Live View. Uh, I'm going to go back into just the timeline. I can actually scrub. You can notice right there, see, like I'm actually showing a timeline, a live scrubbing of the time. Uh, this goes into the nighttime, goes all the way, and I'm going to scrub all the way back, 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 till it gets back. And this is 10 p.m., 9 p.m., and this is where I did a shot. And you'll notice right there, this is yesterday, and I'm actually undoing the timeline. This is something that's very, very unique to the Nest Hello, and that's the uniqueness of the ability to actually see the camera and the timeline. But not only that. This actually also integrates itself with your Chromecast and Google Home. So the example would be if somebody's at the door and somebody's coming in, you can actually have them announce the familiar faces. So an example would be at this point, there's no, no new faces that I need to actually authenticate. But you'll notice right there, there's my son and myself. And then if I'm at the door and I ring the doorbell, it's actually going to announce me. So the example would be, and I'm going to show you guys real quick with my son goes in and rings the doorbell. It's going to announce him here in the office. Omar is at the front door. So it actually announces it on every single speaker and I'll show you guys how to configure that. But the cool thing about it is I can actually answer it, go onto my phone and just say answer the door and you can see he's right there, he's waving at the door. I'll give it a second to update and I'll say talk. Hey buddy. Hi. Hi. Wave to the guys, say hi to everybody. <laughs> Configuring it is a little bit different. You do have to step out of the application, go in, and then go directly into the front door, and then go under notifications. So you can set it up to notify you for people, all motions, as well as the fact that you can configure the, uh, the setup of where you want it to show up. So push notification or email. And again, the Nest Aware application does a really good job of that. Now you can control the visitor announcement on your Google Home, but it's a little bit tricky. You do need to go into the Nest application, go to visitor announcements, and then again, this is the option we turned on to be able to listen to it, but you can go into the Google Assistant app, which is your Google Home application, and then go under your devices. An example, I'm gonna jump over to the Home Office right there. And what it's gonna do for me, it's gonna give me the ability of turning on or turning off notifications. So if you do not wanna have every single um, you know, Google Home in your home uh, be announcing the person's name showing up, you can deselect this and it will not show up. Unfortunately, it's combined with the notification section, so you kind of have to keep that in mind when you're unchecking that. If you've watched some of my other videos, I've showed you guys how to turn on your TV using your Chromecast. Now, that has to be a Chromecast second generation and your TV has to have CEC turned on. So if you have those things connected and set up with your Google Home, you can actually ask it this. Hey Google, show me my front door on TK Ultra. And it's going to turn on your TV. Not only that, switch over to the TK uh, to the actual Chromecast and start streaming it. Now, for me, of course, there's this main menu here that goes in, but you're right there. You're getting a live view directly from my front door. And the beauty about it is it's actually directly anybody that walks up to the door, it's a live view. Now, it's a little bit different than when you're looking at it on your phone. So an example would be right there. You'll notice here I have a little bit more field of view in the phone. But on the TV, it's still pretty decent. It makes it into a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And if you just want to look at the front door, this is a great way. And then when you're done, you just say, hey, Google, turn TK Ultra off. So it goes without saying that Nest is part of the Google family. So integration with Google Home or Chromecast would be a kind of an assumption that, yeah, this should be done. And well, it is, but it's done very well. Uh, the initiation of the command by turning on my TV and switching over to Nest all by voice is extremely well done and it works every single time. Um, I like the fact that I can just turn it on, turn it off if I want to look at it. Uh, the notification across the house, I think it's a very functional thing because not everybody has a doorbell that is in a really good centralized location that you can hear it all around. Or you may not even have a working doorbell. That could be something that you can kind of supplement by having the Google Home announce your visitors. 
Uh, the detection of the faces on the Nest Hello, I'll explain to you guys in the full review, but the short answer, it does work and you have the ability of configuring it. I did set up Omar and I picked them up a couple of times. But overall, I think it's a very cool system. If you're thinking of getting a doorbell, definitely check out the Nest Hello. It is available via the Google Play Store as well as Verizon. And I want to say thank you very much to Verizon for allowing me to check out the Nest Hello as without them, I wouldn't be able to even share with you guys this video. But great features, a lot of cool things happening and a really, really good integration with your existing Google Home as well as Chromecast system. This is TK. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you very much for the support. I'll see you guys in the next video.